The presence of Catholic communities in Muslim-majority countries highlights the rich and complex tapestry of religious diversity that exists across the globe. Despite Islam being the dominant faith in these nations, Catholicism has managed to establish a significant foothold, driven by a blend of historical influences, social dynamics, and cultural exchanges that date back centuries. From colonial legacies and missionary work to modern-day migrations, the Catholic Church has woven itself into the fabric of these societies, often playing vital roles in education, health care, and social services. This video delves into 10 Muslim-majority countries with the highest number of Catholics, presented in reverse order, to provide a comprehensive view of where and how these communities thrive. Each country on the list tells a unique story of resilience, contribution, and the daily challenges Catholics face living as religious minorities. Through their unwavering commitment to service, advocacy, and interfaith dialogue, these communities not only maintain their faith, but also foster understanding and cooperation across religious boundaries. The narrative of Catholics in these predominantly Muslim nations is one of perseverance and adaptation. Are you ready to explore? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Let's get started. Number 10. Iraq In Iraq, the Catholic community, especially the Chaldean Catholic Church, stands as a symbol of resilience and cultural richness amid a predominantly Muslim society. The Chaldean Catholic Church is not only the largest Christian group in Iraq, but also one of the world's oldest Christian denominations, with roots dating back to the early days of the Apostles. For centuries, this community has been an integral part of Iraq's diverse cultural fabric, contributing significantly to its heritage. Despite a dramatic decline in numbers due to decades of war, persecution, and economic instability, the remaining Catholics in Iraq remain deeply committed to preserving their faith and traditions. The Chaldean Church is known for its unique liturgy, often conducted in Aramaic, the ancient language spoken by Jesus. This connection to early Christianity provides a sense of historical depth and spiritual continuity for its followers. Catholics in Iraq are active in social services, running schools, hospitals, and charitable organizations that serve not only Catholics, but also Muslims and other Christian denominations. These institutions are vital for providing education, health care, and community support in areas devastated by conflict. The presence of the Catholic Church in Iraq acts as a bridge between different religious groups, fostering a spirit of coexistence and dialogue in a region often fraught with sectarian strife. However, the path has not been easy. Many Catholics have been displaced from their homes, particularly from areas like Mosul and the Nineveh Plains, which were once strongholds of Christianity in Iraq. Despite these challenges, Iraqi Catholics have shown remarkable resilience, rebuilding their communities and churches, even in the face of ongoing threats. The story of Catholics in Iraq is not just one of survival, but of steadfast faith and cultural endurance. It serves as a powerful reminder of how religious communities can persevere and even flourish amid adversity, contributing to the rich, multi-religious tapestry of their nations. As we continue exploring other Muslim-majority countries with significant Catholic populations, we'll see similar stories of faith, resilience, and the enduring spirit of minority communities. Jordan, a country celebrated for its historical landmarks and cultural heritage, also stands out for its religious harmony and tolerance. Despite being a predominantly Muslim country, Jordan is home to a resilient and vibrant Catholic community, primarily made up of Latin and Melkite Catholics. These groups have roots that trace back centuries, contributing significantly to the religious and social landscape of the nation. The Catholic Church in Jordan is more than a place of worship. It serves as a cornerstone for community support. Through its schools, hospitals, and social service programs, the Catholic Church provides invaluable services to all citizens, regardless of their faith. Education is a key focus, with Catholic schools offering high-quality education that is open to students of all religious backgrounds. These institutions are highly regarded and play a crucial role in promoting values of respect, discipline, and academic excellence. 
Moreover, the Catholic Church's involvement extends deeply into humanitarian efforts, particularly in supporting refugees. Jordan, which hosts a large number of refugees from neighboring conflict zones, sees its Catholic community actively engaged in providing food, shelter, and emotional support to those in need. Catholic organizations work tirelessly alongside international aid groups, demonstrating a spirit of compassion that transcends religious boundaries. Their efforts are not only critical for the welfare of refugees, but also serve as a beacon of hope and solidarity in times of crisis. Interfaith dialogue is another area where Jordan's Catholic community makes its mark. In a region often characterized by religious tensions, Jordan stands as a model of peaceful coexistence. Catholics frequently participate in interfaith councils and community events, promoting understanding between Christians, Muslims, and other religious groups. These efforts are crucial in maintaining the social fabric of Jordan, helping to dispel misconceptions and foster a spirit of mutual respect. Despite representing a small percentage of the overall population, Catholics in Jordan are deeply integrated into the nation's cultural and social life. They contribute to arts, literature, and public discourse, enriching Jordan's cultural diversity. The annual festivals, religious processions, and community gatherings of the Catholic Church are not just religious events, but also cultural celebrations that draw people of all faiths reflecting Jordan's inclusive spirit. Number 8. Syria Syria, known for its ancient and diverse religious landscape, is home to several Christian denominations, including a significant Catholic presence. Among the Catholics, the Melkite Greek, Maronite, and Latin Catholic communities have deep historical roots that stretch back centuries, playing an essential role in the country's rich cultural mosaic. These groups have maintained their religious traditions through periods of prosperity and adversity, contributing to the vibrant tapestry of Syrian society. Despite the devastating impacts of a prolonged civil war, Syrian Catholics continue to uphold their faith, becoming symbols of resilience and hope amid destruction. Many Catholic churches and communities were directly affected by the conflict, leading to the displacement of thousands of faithful. Yet, even in the face of such trials, Catholics in Syria have shown incredible determination to preserve their heritage. They have rebuilt churches, revived community services, and maintained a presence that defies the odds. The Melkite Greek Catholics, one of the largest Catholic communities in Syria, have been particularly active in fostering interfaith dialogue, promoting peace, and providing humanitarian aid to people of all backgrounds. They have become beacons of support, offering education, medical care, and social services to those affected by the war, regardless of their religious affiliation. This outreach not only strengthens the Catholic community, but also fosters a spirit of unity and cooperation among Syria's diverse religious groups. Moreover, the Maronite Catholics, known for their strong sense of identity and tradition, have continued to hold on to their unique liturgical practices and language, maintaining a connection to their ancient roots. Their churches, often nestled in the mountains and historic cities, stand as enduring symbols of faith in a nation struggling to heal. In a country marked by division, Syrian Catholics provide a powerful example of how faith can inspire resilience, hope, and a commitment to rebuilding. They have not only survived, but have also contributed meaningfully to the broader community, demonstrating that religious diversity is a source of strength, even in the most challenging of times. As we move forward in exploring other Muslim-majority countries with significant Catholic populations, the story of Syria's Catholics reminds us of the enduring power of faith and the unbreakable human spirit. Number 7. Bangladesh In Bangladesh, a nation where over 90% of the population is Muslim, the Catholic community, though small, plays an essential role in the country's social landscape. The Catholic Church in Bangladesh is deeply committed to social service, especially in rural areas where poverty and lack of access to basic needs are prevalent. Education is one of the Catholic Church's most significant contributions to Bangladeshi society. Catholic-run schools, often located in underserved areas, provide quality education to children of all faiths with a strong emphasis on values, ethics, and discipline. 
these institutions not only focus on academic achievement, but also nurture students to become compassionate and responsible citizens. The impact of these schools extends beyond the classroom, as they often serve as community hubs that promote learning, understanding, and cultural exchange. Healthcare is another critical area where the Catholic community makes a substantial difference. In many rural parts of Bangladesh, access to medical care is limited. Catholic healthcare centers and clinics provide essential services, offering medical care to those who might otherwise go without. These institutions are often the first line of defense against preventable diseases and play a vital role in improving public health outcomes in some of the most remote and disadvantaged communities. Beyond education and healthcare, the Catholic Church in Bangladesh is also a strong advocate for social justice and the rights of marginalized groups. It actively works to empower women, children, and ethnic minorities, often collaborating with other religious and community organizations to promote social inclusion and human rights. This commitment to advocacy highlights the Church's broader mission to uplift those who are most vulnerable and to foster an environment of equality and respect. Interfaith cooperation is a cornerstone of the Catholic Church's mission in Bangladesh. Catholics frequently engage in dialogue and joint initiatives with Muslim leaders and other religious communities, fostering a spirit of cooperation and mutual respect. These efforts are crucial in a diverse society like Bangladesh, where understanding and collaboration between different faiths help maintain social harmony. The Catholic community's impact goes far beyond numbers, demonstrating that even in predominantly Muslim countries, their presence and contributions are vital to the social fabric. Number six, Pakistan. Catholics in Pakistan, numbering approximately 1.3 million, represent about 0.6% of the total population, making them a small but impactful community within a predominantly Muslim society. Despite their minority status, the Catholic Church has established a robust presence primarily through its extensive network of educational and healthcare institutions. These institutions are renowned for their commitment to quality and inclusivity, offering services to all, irrespective of religious or social background. The Catholic community's contributions to education are particularly noteworthy. Catholic schools and colleges in Pakistan are among the most respected, often providing better facilities and standards compared to their counterparts. They cater not just to Christians, but to a diverse student body, including many Muslims, fostering an environment of mutual respect and understanding from a young age. This inclusive approach has allowed Catholic educational institutions to become beacons of hope for many families seeking quality education, especially in underprivileged areas where access to schooling is limited. Healthcare is another area where the Catholic Church has made a significant impact. Catholic hospitals and clinics across the country provide essential medical services, often stepping in where government facilities are lacking. These institutions are known for their compassion-driven approach, offering treatment to the poorest sections of society, regardless of religious affiliation. This spirit of service has not only helped save countless lives, but has also strengthened the Catholic Church's reputation as a community dedicated to the common good. However, Life in Pakistan as a Catholic is not without its challenges. The community often faces legal and societal discrimination due to their religious beliefs. Blasphemy laws, which are strictly enforced in the country, pose a significant threat, as accusations, often unfounded, can lead to severe consequences for individuals. Despite these pressures, the Catholic community remains undeterred in its mission. Through their acts of charity, education, and health care, they strive to promote peace and interfaith harmony in a landscape that can often be divided by religious tensions. Moreover, the Catholic Church in Pakistan actively engages in social justice and human rights advocacy, often speaking out against injustices faced by minorities. Their efforts extend to providing legal aid and support to those wrongfully accused or marginalized due to their faith. These initiatives have not only bolstered the Catholic community's resolve, but have also garnered respect and solidarity from other minority groups facing similar struggles. Catholics in Pakistan exemplify resilience and a commitment to coexistence, continuously working towards a future where religious diversity is embraced rather than shunned. Their contributions go beyond their numbers, 
influencing the broader society through acts of kindness, service, and a steadfast belief in the power of education and healthcare to change lives. Despite the challenges, their faith and dedication remain a powerful testament to the strength of community spirit in the face of adversity. Number 5. Turkey Turkey, straddling Europe and Asia, is known as a secular state with a Muslim majority, yet it also hosts a small but historically significant Catholic population. This diverse Catholic presence includes several denominations, such as Latin, Armenian, and Syriac Catholics. These communities primarily reside in cosmopolitan cities like Istanbul, Izmir, and Ankara, where they have managed to sustain their faith through centuries of change. Historically, Catholics in Turkey have faced periods of both prosperity and hardship. Their roots date back to the early days of Christianity, when the region was part of the Byzantine Empire, a center of Christian thought and practice. Over time, and particularly after the Ottoman Empire's rise, Catholics became a small minority within a predominantly Muslim society. Despite this, they have managed to preserve their distinct identities and religious practices, often gathering in small, tightly-knit communities centered around historic churches. In Istanbul, for instance, the Catholic Church of St. Anthony of Padua stands as a prominent symbol of the Catholic heritage in Turkey. Built in the early 20th century, it serves as a focal point for the Latin Catholic community, hosting regular masses and community events. In other areas like Izmir, Catholic churches are also centers for cultural preservation, where traditions are passed down through generations. The challenges faced by Turkey's Catholics today are not just demographic, but also cultural. Many young Catholics choose to emigrate, seeking better opportunities abroad, leading to a gradual decline in the community's numbers. Additionally, legal and social challenges sometimes hinder the expansion and maintenance of Catholic institutions. However, the resilience of these communities is evident in their continued efforts to sustain their religious and cultural heritage. Catholics in Turkey actively engage in community service, interfaith dialogue, and cultural events, often opening their doors to those interested in learning about their faith. Their festivals, such as Christmas and Easter, are celebrated with great fervor, bringing together families and friends in joyful observance. This small yet vibrant community plays an essential role in showcasing the diversity of religious life in Turkey, standing as a testament to the coexistence of multiple faiths in one of the world's most historically rich countries. The story of Catholics in Turkey is not just about numbers, it's about a community's commitment to its faith, culture, and the enduring spirit of coexistence in a land that bridges continents and religions. Despite the challenges, Turkey's Catholics continue to be a vital thread in the fabric of the nation's diverse cultural heritage. What do you think about this topic? Let me know in the comments below. Number 4. Nigeria Nigeria, a country known for its nearly equal split between Muslims and Christians, is home to a significant Catholic population, especially in the southern regions. Catholics in Nigeria make up around 20% of the country's Christian population, making them a prominent group within the nation's diverse religious landscape. The Catholic Church's influence is particularly strong in states like Anambra and Enugu, where it plays a pivotal role in shaping communities through education, healthcare, and social justice efforts. In Nigeria, the Catholic Church is renowned for its extensive network of educational institutions. From primary schools to universities, Catholic-run schools are respected for their high standards and discipline. These institutions are not just places of learning, but also hubs for character building and moral guidance, helping shape future generations. The Church's commitment to education extends to providing scholarships and financial aid, ensuring that even the most disadvantaged children have access to quality education. This dedication to learning is especially vital in a country where access to education can be uneven and Catholic schools often fill the gaps left by government institutions. Healthcare is another critical area where the Catholic Church in Nigeria has made a lasting impact. Catholic hospitals and clinics are scattered throughout the country, providing essential services, especially in rural areas where medical facilities are scarce. 
These healthcare centers are known for their compassionate care, often offering services at reduced costs or even for free to those who cannot afford them. In many communities, Catholic healthcare workers are among the first responders during health crises, such as outbreaks of diseases like malaria or cholera, further solidifying the church's role as a key player in public health. Beyond education and healthcare, the Catholic Church in Nigeria is deeply involved in social justice initiatives. It actively engages in promoting peace, advocating for the rights of marginalized communities, and providing support to those affected by violence and conflict, which are common in certain regions of the country. The Church often serves as a mediator in inter-religious conflicts, working tirelessly to foster dialogue and understanding between different faith groups. This role is crucial in a nation where religious tensions can run high, and the Church's efforts contribute significantly to the overall peace-building process. Navigating Nigeria's complex religious landscape is no easy task, but the Catholic Church continues to thrive by focusing on service and community engagement. Despite the challenges posed by religious differences, Catholics in Nigeria have built a reputation for their unwavering commitment to improving society through education, health care, and advocacy. Their contributions not only benefit their own communities, but also help bridge divides in a diverse and sometimes divided country. Number three, Lebanon. Lebanon is unique in the Middle East for its significant Christian population, which includes a substantial number of Catholics, particularly within the Maronite community. Despite being a Muslim-majority country, Lebanon's distinct political and social fabric sets it apart. The country operates under a unique power-sharing system that ensures representation and equal rights for all religious groups, allowing Catholics not only to practice their faith freely, but also to play a significant role in shaping the nation's cultural and political landscape. The Maronite Catholics, who make up a large portion of Lebanon's Christian population, trace their roots back to the early centuries of Christianity. They are known for their rich traditions, including distinct liturgical practices, religious celebrations, and a deep connection to the land. The Maronite Church is in full communion with the Roman Catholic Church, but retains its own unique rites and customs, which have been preserved through centuries of coexistence with Muslim communities. Lebanon's Catholics are not just passive participants. They are active influencers in the country's cultural and national identity. Their presence is felt in various sectors, from politics to education and media. For example, Lebanese Catholic schools are among the most prestigious in the country, attracting students of all faiths and fostering an environment of religious tolerance and mutual respect. The influence of the Catholic Church extends into the arts, literature, and media, contributing significantly to Lebanon's reputation as a cultural hub in the Middle East. Despite numerous challenges, including political instability and economic hardship, Lebanese Catholics continue to be resilient. Their churches serve as centers of community life, hosting events that bring together people of all backgrounds. Major religious festivals like Easter and Christmas are celebrated nationwide, often transcending religious lines, highlighting Lebanon's distinctive spirit of coexistence. Number two, Egypt. In Egypt, where Islam is the official state religion, the Catholic community, though small, plays a significant role in society. Comprising different rites, such as Coptic Catholic, Latin, and Maronite, Catholics in Egypt represent less than 1% of the population. Despite their modest numbers, they have established a profound impact through their involvement in education, health care, and charitable activities, often bridging gaps between different religious communities. The Catholic Church in Egypt is particularly known for its contribution to education. Catholic schools, renowned for their academic excellence and moral guidance, cater to students from diverse religious backgrounds, including many Muslims. These institutions are celebrated not only for their commitment to high educational standards, but also for promoting values of tolerance, respect, and mutual understanding. By providing quality education accessible to all, the Catholic community fosters a spirit of cooperation and dialogue, which is crucial in a country marked by religious diversity. 
Healthcare is another area where Catholics in Egypt make a vital contribution. Catholic hospitals and clinics, many of which are operated by religious orders, provide essential medical care, often in underserved and rural areas. These facilities are known for their inclusive approach, treating patients of all faiths with dignity and compassion. In a country where healthcare resources can be stretched thin, the Catholic Church's commitment to service stands out as a beacon of hope for the poor and marginalized. Charitable work is a cornerstone of the Catholic presence in Egypt. Catholic charities and social service organizations actively engage in supporting those in need, from offering food and shelter to refugees and the homeless, to providing vocational training and employment opportunities. These efforts are especially significant in a country with economic challenges as they help uplift communities and promote social cohesion. In addition to their social services, Catholics in Egypt are often at the forefront of interfaith dialogue. The Catholic Church frequently organizes events and initiatives that bring together leaders and followers of different religions to discuss common values and build bridges of understanding. This work is essential in a society where religious differences can sometimes lead to tension, and it helps pave the way for peaceful coexistence. Catholics in Egypt demonstrate that even a small community can have a large impact. Through their dedication to education, healthcare, and charity, they embody the values of service and solidarity, making significant contributions to the country's social fabric. Their efforts not only benefit their own community, but also enhance the broader goal of fostering harmony and cooperation across religious lines in Egypt. Number 1. Indonesia Indonesia, known as the world's largest Muslim-majority country, also boasts a significant Catholic population, particularly in regions like East Nusa Tenggara, North Sumatra, and parts of Papua. Catholicism was introduced to Indonesia by Portuguese missionaries in the 16th century, and over the centuries, it has established deep roots in the country. Today, Catholics make up about 3% of Indonesia's population, a remarkable figure in a nation of over 280 million people. The Catholic Church in Indonesia plays a crucial role, particularly in education and healthcare, sectors where it has established a strong and respected presence. Catholic schools and universities are well regarded for their high educational standards and often attract students of all faiths, fostering an environment of inclusivity and mutual respect. Additionally, the church operates numerous hospitals and clinics providing essential health care services, especially in remote and underserved areas. Despite being a minority, Indonesian Catholics actively engage in community building and social justice initiatives. They are known for their charitable work, often stepping in during times of crisis, such as natural disasters, to provide aid and support to affected communities. This commitment to social welfare has earned the Catholic Church a respected role in Indonesian society bridging religious divides through acts of kindness and service. Religious freedom in Indonesia allows Catholics to openly practice their faith, although they sometimes face challenges in a predominantly Muslim environment. However, the Catholic community remains resilient, celebrating their faith through vibrant festivals, community gatherings, and regular church services. Notable events such as Christmas and Easter are marked with public celebrations that draw attendees from various backgrounds, highlighting the inclusive spirit of Indonesian society. In Indonesia, Catholicism is not just a religion, but a living, dynamic part of the country's multicultural identity. The Catholic community continues to grow and contribute positively to the nation, standing as a testament to Indonesia's diverse and harmonious coexistence of faiths. These countries illustrate that Catholic communities thrive even in predominantly Muslim nations, often playing crucial roles in social services, education, and interfaith dialogue. The coexistence of these religions, despite challenges, underscores the importance of religious diversity and mutual respect in fostering peaceful and inclusive societies. Thank you all for being here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos.